Hey friends, today we are doing one of my favorite outside of the park activities and that is the Walt Disney World monorail crawl. We're gonna take the monorail to all the different resorts, have ourselves some drinks at the lounges and bars and actually just enjoy all of the Magic Kingdom loop area. So, let's go do this. Oh, and there it goes. This is our trusty form of transportation for this evening and it's going to take us to all of the nifty places. Luckily, some things are changing and the reason we wanted to actually come out and do a monorail crawl is because the Polynesian monorail loading station is actually going to be closing soon. So it might be a while before we actually get to do one. And uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite outside of the park activities. Last time we did the monorail crawl, we came for the end of summer and the monorail station was closing at 7 p.m. But now they're open much later, all the way up till 10 o'clock at night. So this makes it a lot more easier to actually get around without being under such a rush. And like a good tradition, we always start at the contemporary. But normally we've been doing the wave because that's the only lounge that's really open. Today, another really popular lounge opened and we're gonna be able to experience for the first time in a while. I am so excited because I love this place. The outer rim has officially opened and I'm so excited. It's only open on the weekend so far, but this is one of my favorite spots. Because we plan on actually getting some of the Halloween mixed drinks down at the Wave, I'm just gonna get myself a good old Oktoberfest beer here if they have it, or Bud Light, just so I can get myself all warmed up before we actually hit the whole entire monorail crawl. Right here it is, the delicious Oktoberfest. And actually, I didn't even say it, but I'm with somebody. Jackie. Hello. Super enthused. Cheers, eh? Cheers. Clink. This, like I said, is going to be just our stop one, and we're going to actually definitely hit up the wave because we want to get the Halloween drinks, like I said before. But all the other places, we're not sure what is open, especially at the Polynesian. I know the pool bar is open and the Tambu Lounge, but we're just going to see what they actually have at each location and decide which one we want to go to. Now it's time to head on down to the wave for some spooky Halloween drinks. I have to actually admit something. I like to uh, start a video when I'm about to get on the escalator because I like the way it looks. So I will just randomly just start talking about something anytime I actually get on an escalator so I can film myself like this. But right there is our next stop. So excited. We are actually sitting in the same spot we were sitting the last time we did a monorail crawl. But we came down here and we got the end of summer. That's right. Yeah, do you remember? I do remember. I didn't like that drink. Neither of us liked it. <laughs> but this time, <laughs> this they time. got the Halloween drinks. And I've had actually all of these. And this time, I'm going to go with my favorite one, which was the Harvest Punch. And uh, Jackie's going to try it for the first time. You missed the napkin flight. That's Bo. Bo makes the drinks good. He's the, he's the man. <laughs> <laughs> this is the full list of all the Halloween drinks. These are actually only at the Wave. And like I said, I'm going with the one that I like the best, and that's the Harvest Punch. Because this is actually like a pumpkin alcoholic drink. Pumpkin and butterscotch, and then even they add a stick of roasted cinnamon in it. Good stuff. That's the right. good stuff. We won't have frog. We want, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. Like I said, I absolutely love this drink. You can actually use the cinnamon like stick yeah, as a straw. I wouldn't suggest doing it, but I'm going like to do it. Just flowers. You can do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. Okay. This might be very bad. Hold on. a very bad idea. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I definitely don't suggest eating the cinnamon stick either, and I'm not going to do that. I, I tried drinking out of it, and uh, it just very overpowering cinnamon. But I already had this drink before. I know I love it. So there it is. One thing I just realized, and uh, we've already finished the drinks. We never cheers. Oh, yeah. So there has to be a little bit left in there to cheers. I got enough for a sip. Okay, hold on. Then I got to get a tip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. listen, we got to do this. We got to do this. Hold on. Behind the scenes right here. <laughs> All right, so we didn't cheers. We have one sip left, just enough to cheers with. Cheers. Ching. It's that kind of sip. <laughs> it's that's the, yeah, that's the stuff. 
Now it's time we actually catch a ride on the monorail. We're heading out of the wave and up to the next level. Now we're going up to catch our monorail in the sky. How much you want to bet we're going to get monorail line? Monorail in the sky. I can fly twice as high. On monorail line. Actually, and as I was walking, I was kind of like, wait a second. It says 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., but that's actually because they don't have a 9, and they just put 8, and then before they had a 10, and they put 10 because they didn't have the 9, but it makes sense to put 8. So, uh, yeah, it says 8 o'clock. It's open till 9, though. That was a little shocker, like I said, because we walked by before, and I, I don't know if I showed it in the video, but it did say 7 to 10, yeah. but uh, it's good to know. So, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. We've got to wrap this up quick. We have like three, four hours. That's not enough. Oh, wow. Look at this. We were so close. We almost got monorail lime. Lime in the monorail. You put the lime in the monorail and mix it all up. Actually, we couldn't even get on monorail orange because they uh, are really cutting down on how many people are in the cabins and nobody got off at the contemporary. So now we are on the next monorail and we actually might make it on this one. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, oh boy. Let's see. We've got five ahead of us. Let's see, let's see. Two, two, hey. Oh, oh, I feel like no, they're coming two by two. Two by two, two by two. And away we go. Oh wow, the sun. <gasps> Look at that, it's a monorail. While I'm in a monorail. Actually, most of the time I look out the other side, but now I'm thinking this is beautiful. Look at this, you can see Wilderness Lodge right there. Yeah, I mostly actually look out this side. Don't you? Yeah, I do. This is like a different angle here. And this right here is basically one of the main reasons we decided to do a monorail crawl is because soon you're not going to be able to stop here on the monorail loop because they are actually going to be doing a whole renovation on the Porta Coche here and the monorail is just going to skip right over it. So this is why it was important for us to get out here and do this. Who knows the next time we're going to be able to just hop out at the Polynesian could be weeks, months, years. I actually, I don't even know. I don't even know if they posted it, but when I heard that, I said, we gotta do this. Any reason to do a monorail crawl is a good reason. Look at that cool Maui sign right there. How awesome would it be to have I that? Love that. Right? Yeah, let's get one. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Now that we have officially made it to the Polynesian, I said before the Tambu Lounge is the spot to come to because it was the only thing open. No Trader Sam's and no outside patio, but I do know one of the pool bars is open. So hopefully we're gonna go see what's at the pool bar. If there's nothing good happening there, then we're gonna hop back up to the Tambu Lounge. But I'm gonna miss this place while it's closed down for refurbishment. They're mainly gonna be doing all of the main lobby. The DVC portion is still gonna be open, but I just like coming in here and smelling because it just smells amazing. And they definitely win the coolest looking construction sign award. That is awesome, right? Look at it. This is amazing. I can't wait to see all of these. I know, I know, you know, it's sad that they're gonna be changing a lot of things, but I think it's gonna be a good change. I really believe it. And a little fun fact, the lamps that actually used to be on the side of those couches there, one of them is now in my living room. Man, I just don't understand it though. Why can't they open the grotto? Yeah. At least, I mean, I understand Trader Sam's, but the grotto. Yeah. Look at all these available seating that they have out here. And I would love to get myself a Nautilus. Well, hello there, sir. I don't even have food. Oh, I get it, because I don't have food. I'm no good. So you're just gonna go about your business. We're gonna walk down by the marina and like I said, check out the pool bar. I haven't been down here much, but it's something cool to do. Why not? I mean, you gotta take advantage of what's open at the moment. But just take a look at how beautiful it is out here. And if you look straight ahead, you can see the tippity top of the castle. Oh yes, and you got the music too. Sorry. Oh, here you go. You do your math. 
Thank you. And here we are on the other side of the volcano, the poolside bar. And guess what? They've got a Halloween themed drink. I am so happy that we decided to come out and check out the Barefoot Pool Bar because they really do have some very good interesting drinks. The Tambu Lounge is sticking to their theming so they don't really have any like Halloween flavored or featured cocktails other than the ones that they normally do have. So it's good to see a little mix up here. Here is the poison apple drink that I was talking about and it comes with the little green uh, skeleton ghost cube and I don't think I have that one yet either. Yeah, we only have I purple. Have purple and red. Yeah. Wow. But take a look at these featured cocktails. They have a frozen Dole Whip line margarita. That's crazy. Look, you can see it right there. Ooh, it's actually watch it happen. It's right oh no look right there. They have actually blind oh, yeah, dole like whip in the machine. Thing. Yeah. And then also a rose gold sunset. These are some really good drinks out here. A good way. Yeah. <laughs> here it is. And they were actually out of the green glow cube. So purple is what we got. And it's okay because now we have extra purple ones. And take a look at the coconuts back there. You can actually buy those. They sell them for $9.99. I really want to come back and get one of those, but I don't want to carry it around with me the rest of the night so we're coming back here now that we have our poison apple drink let's head to the beach head to the beach, head to the beach. wow guys this is beautiful oh, this is living life to the best right here i am so happy to be here oh look at the swing is even open yes i'm so excited the swing could definitely use a little WD-40, but this is living life, like I said. I'm so happy. <laughs> but the swing uh, was way too squeaky. We decided to grab some chairs right here. This is beautiful, isn't it? I wish you guys could see it. We're gonna, we're gonna watch the sunset from here. It's gonna be amazing. Look at that plane up there. You guys know how much I love sunsets. Right now, sitting at the Polynesian beach, this is good stuff. The music is awesome, the air is so nice. I haven't had a Disney day where I haven't sweat once in a long time, but that is today. Not one ounce of sweat, and we're not outside that much, you know, but even when I am indoors and in between, it's still hot, but today, the breeze is beautiful. Myself. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. This is good stuff. I know, I don't know if those shots do it justice, but I'm just like kind of, there's like a huge euphoria happening for me right now. Yeah, you agree, right? The wind, the, the music. Right now, I don't feel like 2020 happened. That's a saying. That is a saying. What a wonderful world. That's it. Absolutely enjoyed our time here at the beach, but we need to move along. And I'm gonna need to somehow get this glow cube out of my cup without getting sticky and yeah. Uh, maybe I should just bring the cup with me. Yeah. Can they go let me just bring that's, the cup with that's me? That's my glow cube holder. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if they're gonna make me feel this way. Like if I can just take it on the monorail. Like there's no alcohol in it. I made sure of that. So we're gonna have to go back through the Polynesian, but let's just try. <gasps> Do you want to make me a drink? <laughs> because we actually have to get on over to the Grand Floridian because of timing, we're not going to go to the Tambu Lounge, but I do want to mention that they actually extended the seating area. So now you can basically sit where you would dine for Ohana and enjoy the Tambu Lounge. How cool is that? You look straight ahead, you can see the castle right there. This is technically Ohana. Looks like we're going to be boarding Monorail Orange, which I love Monorail Orange. Come on, Jackie, let's go. Oh, no. The train is a leaving. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 
There's that cool guy. There he is. <laughs> what do you think that flashing green button is on the inside of the door here? Or is that just a light? Anywho's, after that last drink at the Polynesian, I definitely feel like I'm loosening up <laughs> for the monorail aerobics. Yes! Free entertainment! Well, we're coming up on the Grand Floridian. Oh, and we have a ride at our destination. Donald Duck. <laughs> Ta da! Definitely need a strong sanitizing after the monorail aerobics there. Oh, yes, the Grand Floridian. I absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments if this is your favorite Walt Disney World Resort lobby or what is your favorite Walt Disney World Resort lobby. I have to say it's definitely tough for me to you know pick one either Grand Floridian, Animal Kingdom Lodge, or Wilderness Lodge. I can definitely narrow it down to those three. And I guess we might as well stop at the Enchanted Rose. This is one of the few lounges that is actually open other than the pool bar and Narcoosie's at the moment because Narcoosie's just recently reopened after the NBA left. But I love it in here. This time we decided to sit at the bar itself and it's a little bit dark in here. I decided to get my Bud Light because they serve it in such a fancy glass. Really nice glass. Yes, but Jackie, she went all in. Look at this. Got an espresso martini. Espresso martini. You should hold that like the Great Gatsby. I'm going to. <laughs> I feel like we're a little bit off of our game tonight because we keep on forgetting the cheers. I have a tiny sip left. Yep, I got one too. Alright, hold on. Just one last sip for a cheers. Yes. It's time to head out. Maybe head down to the pool bar. Put that in your pocket. <laughs> We're gonna actually check out the pool bar. Cause like I said, you, you never know what they have. Uh, they're not really announcing many of the Halloween drinks, but I feel like maybe they have one down there. But of course we gotta take the fancy stairs. Like I feel like, like Jack from the Titanic walking down these stairs. And the walls for the actual NBA bubble are down. So we're gonna actually make our way over to the poolside bar. Maybe it might be open, maybe not. Well, it looks like we missed the poolside bar. It closed at eight o'clock. So now we are actually on the hunt for our next spot. We're on the hunt. And we have decided to play it smart and actually head back over to the Contemporary because that's where we are parked. And that way we don't have to worry about racing for the monorail. So we're going to go there and then see if we can get one last drink at the Contemporary itself. Before we actually hop on the monorail though, I do want to point out that Basin White is open and technically, what do they need to do different to open? I think everyone washes their hands anyway. The whole thing here. You know? Yeah. Like maybe they have like floor markings, but I mean, I, mean, I, I feel like they were ready to go. Looks like we got monorail line this time. Awesome. Huh, we got two. two. Awesome. Dos, right Thank you. Oh, there goes the Grand Floridian. There she goes. There she goes again. <laughs> we are actually going to be able to see the Magic Kingdom lit up. That's crazy. Yeah, it's really nice. Too bad we're not going to be stopping here at the Magic Kingdom. Aww. You know, I don't think they'd let us in. All right. Hey, you ready to see the castle? This whole entire night was worth it just because of this right now. Yeah. I haven't seen it lit up like this in such a long time. And we are back. Back at the Contemporary. We're back at the Contemporary again. Oh, that was horrible. I need to just give up. So now we are going to try to get like, you know, like I said, one more drink in. And uh, we have some options. We do have the outer rim and uh, we do have the wave. We can check to see if the pool bar is open. 
where we can see if the uh, lounge at the California Grill is open. Either way, there's a lot more options at the Contemporary than probably any other resort. I'll tell you what though, the Outer Rim is looking super busy. Oh my gosh, the oh Outer boy. Rim is, don't drop a camera name. I wasn't gonna drop my camera, it, I was a little off balance um, when I got on the thing because I was too busy filming, you know. Just trying to help you out, yeah. that's what friends do. That's the way, <laughs> thank you. And check that out, we are in luck. Thank you. Thank you very much, absolutely. We gotta go all the way up. Oh, you want us to go with you? We're coming in, hey. We're coming in. She's gotta get all her intro going on there. Take your time. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, so, yeah, 15. Oh, yeah. I just pretend I pressed it. This is, is this your first time here? So, no, I've been up here. I've eaten at the bar. Oh, okay. I've been outside on the, you know, that like walkway, balcony boardwalk thing, but. It's good stuff. I'm waiting to hear that. Oh, boy. Oh boy. I don't know if she's gonna see it. <laughs> what a way to end the night though, huh? Oh, that oh yeah, amazing. thank you. This is so awesome. I can't even believe that we scored such a great last minute table right here. Like we were expecting maybe to sit at the bar. Yeah, if we were lucky. Yeah, but they were like, hey, yeah, we have a table. And take a look at that. I mean, I know I bring you guys up here all the time. This is one of my favorite spots, but this is some good stuff. And of course, I respect the California Grill and I take my hat off up here. I will take my hat off in a lot of restaurants that definitely deserve it because I think it's very proper to show your table manners. But what a way to end a night of a monorail crawl right here at the California Grill. I wish we were having some fireworks because that would have been perfect. Right now would have been the exact time, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, we would have been literally watching Happily Ever After. That's kind of like mind blowing right now. We both decided on getting some pizza. Pizza at the California Grill. <laughs> And we have some beer, beer and pizza at the California Grill. Who would have thought that? Wow, this is some, this is some classy stuff here, we folks. It up around here. Only the classiest show here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and and we already have a little bread service come out. I absolutely love the bread here. Oh she gosh, got a warm. Florida orange blossom pilsner. Orange blossom pilsner. Yeah. I got a Bud Light, but I think I'm gonna get an orange blossom pilsner maybe for my next drink. Yes. Yeah, Cause that, that looks delicious. Yeah. Pizza cheers. No, I don't know. <laughs> Look at this though. Fancy. Cheers. cheers. Wow. I have had this pizza many times before. And the thing is, is I absolutely love it. But like I'm so used to like that cheap pizza that you like the hometown pizza, family pizzeria shop, that when you get like this fancy pizza, you really can't compare it to it. So, you know, we're gonna we're gonna give it we're gonna give it the proper test though. One bite, everybody knows the rules. That pizza did not stand a chance. Jackie's still working on it. You're still nibbling. I was a little hungry, what can I say? We're gonna actually head out to the balconies and get ourselves a shot at Epcot. I like to go out the left side because you get a real good shot of Spaceship Earth, but if you go out the right side, you get beautiful Magic Kingdom views. Maybe we'll do them both. Oh no, it's raining outside. Where's the shirt? Over there. And it is raining outside. So look at Jackie, she's running for the doors. I think we're just abandoning ship here. We're done here. Ah! <laughs> and now we say goodbye to our beautiful view. Now's the time to say goodbye. Take your pizza pie. <laughs> I like that. Oh. And with that, I think we are done here. Look at that behind us. Absolutely beautiful. I had so much fun tonight. It was great to get out and do another monorail crawl and enjoy some of the Halloween drinks and actually be able to do it again because like I said, we don't know the next time we can once the uh, Polynesian Puerto Rico Shore is all done. Then that's probably the next time we can fully do a loop. So anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!